Bowling above the block right now in 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner. Well, this basically uh, was designed for, uh, well, street racing. Let's face it, this is a car that was really had no hole on the drag strip. And uh, these were sold as you see them, but they lift off hood. With no hinges, no hubcaps, just chrome lug nuts. And every single one of these 446 pack equipped cars got a Dana 60 rear axle with 410 gears. Not highway gears by any stretch. Something that's kind of cool is fiberglass hood. There's no hinges or pins. And here we can see the steel base that directs the air into the engine. However, if it rains, well, you've got this little rubber tube to direct the water away and down toward the ground. But again, these cars were all built in the mid year 1969 and carry an M code in the fifth digit of the VIN to say special option engine. If you want to go beyond that to the fender tag with the code A12 to confirm which engine it was, 446 back, and that's what we've got right here, a beautiful numbers matching restoration. We've reached that point in the day where it's going to take pretty much $100,000 if you're going to want to buy a car. That's because the quality of the cars during the course of the day actually gets better. You know, when they build the dock at the goal is to build it like it's ramping up. And between now and except tomorrow, the prices are going to continue to go through the roof. And right now, this one is at $115,000, which will put it into our top five for the day when it sells. You know, there's a term called over-restoration. Some people frown on it. Well... It's fine by me, and that's what's been done here. I mean, finishes that would have been sprayed on very quickly at the factory, uh, this one had been rubbed out and polished and made just pristine. From front to back, these will restore it. This car warrants and deserves the treatment. It's that nice. Galen Gauvier has documented it. So we know it's original. We know it's legitimate. That's very important. If you're going to spend $120,000 for a car, you want to make sure that somebody like Galen, Galen Gauvier, in case of Bopar, has gone through it. Make sure that the numbers are what they're supposed to be in the car is what it's supposed to be. This one does have the four-speed transmission. They're also available with the torque flight automatic. This one is a hard top, which means it does not have the full door frames and the B pillar that would have been on coupe versions. Hard tops are probably about 60% of the run, 40% consists of the coupe. Both of them equally quick and capable of getting down the drags. I love the bias by redline tires, the stock steel wheels, and uh, just a real nice restoration. Love it. Now we're at $150,000, which makes it tie for our second highest sell of the day. Nope, they backed up just a little bit, now down to $147,000. Once again, the auctioneer responsible for making sure that he knows exactly that they have the right number, they got the bidder. seller of the day with the 1970 Plymouth Cuda custom convertible that sold just a while ago. So once again, $150,000. All right, time to get an update on the muscle car clash with Christy Lee. Rick, what do you